All right, so now I'm going to show you how to add new loads in Easy Loads. Um, but first, let's talk about this Easy Loads list. Uh, one uh, way Easy Loads is making trucking so easy is because it's just so visual and user friendly. So as we can see, uh, these uh, loads here are green. That means because they're done, you've been paid for. Uh, you've been paid uh, for them. Uh, we can go down here and you know to get them out of the way, we can sh uh, go to Show Only Active. Get rid of the loads you've been paid for. So now we have yellow. That means that they are um, invoiced. They've been delivered and invoiced. Next we have white, and that means that they're still being dealt with. Okay. So then also we have the this red warning sign here. I'll look at that it says load warning. It's open detention. So that's just great. Uh, very very easy and gives you warnings and colors. You just can quickly see where you're at. So let's go up here to add a load, and uh, this is this is just very simple to do. Uh, we, let's put in a new pickup. You can make it very easy just by uh, putting in the zip code. So we'll do six zero six five four here in Chicago, and look at it. Just uploaded city and state. We can add uh, the pickup date. We'll do August first. Uh, we're going to do a delivery date of, let's say, Tuesday the 4th, um, where we're going to deliver. Let's go uh, here to, back to my hometown. Uh, let's see. Zero. Lexington, Michigan, and it's all uploaded. We will pick a broker, uh, C.H. Robinson. But actually, let's say you have a new broker that you need to add. It's not in your list here. So you can go to New Broker. And this is great, actually. Um, there's 63,000 uh, preloaded um, brokers in here. So you don't need to put in all this information. Just search by name and, or MC number, and all this information will populate. OK, so for now, we'll do this. Let's say the rates, 3,000. Um, now we need to assign a driver. We'll do Alex Green. It automatically uploads truck number and trailer. That's good. We can remember we can always add notes. We can do a, uh, a payment confirmation or rate confirmation, and then there we go. Now we can create the load. And let's see, we have it right here. The load has been created, and we are all good to go.